side, now like Team GB at the Paralympics, we have been serving you up gold all summer long. Yes, we have. Uh, so what bits on the side can you expect this evening? Well, uh, you will definitely get a little bit of this. <laughs> you might even get a medium-sized serving of this. I had an ex-boyfriend who used to do blow those bubbles. It was very weird. Uh, and, not in that way. Uh, and, and if you're really lucky, you'll get a super-sized, extra-large portion of this. I'm so happy my mum got a bit horny and had me. <laughs> Oh. Yeah, I, I was quite baffled by that lip until somebody told me what he actually said and then everything was okay again. Uh, right, let's meet tonight's panel. First up, she is the former bitch on the box whose mere presence on the last, uh, on the last time she was on uh, made Jasmine have a hissy fit, which is exactly why we've booked her again. It's the lovely Nina Mishkov. Yeah. Songwriting, dancing starman who's quite partial to giving out a good old foot massage. It's Andrew Stone. <laughs> and finally, this guest is used to making it in the final week as he uh, finished fifth in Big Brother 2009. He also met the Queen, or at least that's what he still <laughs> believes. It's Brazilian bombshell Rodrigo. <laughs> the show we just watch yeah. yes, yes. Uh, so Nina people are saying that um, Julie has isolated herself from the group do you think she has it's completely cracked wide open any kind of pretense of uh, harmony between Julie and the rest of the house is is gone and the only thing that's holding it together from absolute outright war is Julian. Mm. Julian's been absolutely brilliant. He's been fantastic yeah, yeah. with he's been, her. He's been there for her the whole way, absolutely. right by her side. And he's, and he's been loyal to her, but at the same time, he's kept the rest of the house calm as well. He said, rise above it. And I think he's, he's absolutely... I've, I've wanted him to win from the beginning. Yeah, yeah. And I think he... If he doesn't, it's, it's an absolute travesty. He's fantastic. The thing is, with, with, with Julia, I, I can't understand why people were so surprised that she had this other side. Just because she's 70 years old doesn't turn her into a bumbling, cosy, comfy fool. <laughs> she was a, she's always been a diva. And when she was a big star in the 80s, that was a big star. There were only four TV channels. Yeah. And when you're a star in Manchester, you're the only star in town. If you're in London, it's different. So Queen she, B. Absolutely. absolutely. As she has been I, and up I, until now in the house. I've interviewed her a couple of times back then. And she was a deep... People were terrified of her. I mean, she'd always be so, have some acolyte there with a... You know, she'd have a cigarette like that. And somebody would be up to light the fag. Practically put the hand out to get the ash. I mean... <laughs> Just a big diva, and I, why people didn't realise that there is but another that's side. That's what to... we were going to get in yeah, the house. She has a genuinely warm side. I mean, when 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 Martin burst into tears, she genuinely wanted to comfort him. Yeah. But there's this other side. There's another. Absolutely. The other side. Uh, last week we saw Harvey uh, calling Colleen vile and kind of loving on Julie. Now he seems to have turned. Do you think we've seen a different side to him, Rodrigo? No, the thing I think is like he say Julie's blah 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 saying nasty things about people behind their back. But I think he also said when as soon as she leaves the place, she, she he keeps saying bad things about her behind her back. He, she, he's, he should say that to her face, you know, because what's the Which point? Which is what she said this evening as well. Yeah, didn't she she said people should say yeah these because people to are very face. false. It's easy to say behind people's back. But like I want to say, uh, if he thinks about her, go to her and say Julie, you yeah. said blah 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 blah. You know. Do you yeah. think that he's talking behind her back or she's talking behind his back or is everybody doing that in the house because she, that's she doesn't say anything to anyone's face does she everything she says no, she, is, <laughs> she kind of waits till they walk away and then just absolutely slates them she doesn't say anything to anybody's face so it's a little bit pot calling the kettle isn't it Every, everyone's kind of doing the same thing it's just the situation surely that, that, <laughs> no, no, no not in that way it's just the situation that they're in they have friends they talk about things then people find out and it's like they've been bitching behind their back but you're just having a conversation that is being what watched by 40-odd cameras. Mm. It's your birthday today. Happy birthday. Yeah. I think they're all as bad as each other, to be honest. You know, they what, sorry? They're all as bad as each other. Yeah. They all bitch. It's part of the game. It's, um, it wouldn't be Big Brother if they didn't bitch. Is it bitching or chatting? 
Come on, Bitchy. 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 I think they're all. I think they're all frightened of her. I would be. I'm different. frightened if she comes out tomorrow. I'll be totally honest. Um, Andrew, this situation says Julie is his the occasional G table. Mar. Yeah, the occasional yeah. table uh, says that Julie is his G Mar. Would she be your G Mar in the house? Definitely. I mean, the situation. Or your G star. Oh, my G star. My G spot. Um, no, but. She... <laughs> No, but I think that um, I can relate to him because he's, he's, he's quite emotional and he's quite open with his emotions. And, you know, um, who can't love Julie? I mean, she's great. She really is. I know for a fact that she's saying what she's saying, but it's a game show, do you know what I mean? And the gloves are off now, don't you think, guys? It is now a the game, it is a game show, off. but it's not a game for her, I don't think. I mean, no, a lot of people she's say she's it. playing she's a game, it. but that absolutely. just seems to be her. Yeah, absolutely. She's actually being honest with who she really is, just like you said. Well, you know, people should look is. at the meaning of the dictionary. When they go on Big Brother, they should look at the dictionary. Yes. Well, reality yeah. show means because they go and they say they're playing the game, playing the game. It's, game it's not camp holiday. <laughs> Is that game <laughs> show? <laughs> Hello. Very true. Yeah. <laughs> Exclusive of our show. Um, here's how Julie was feeling after a good night's sleep. Um, the situation did ask this morning regarding um, <coughs> Julian and I. Julian and I getting a little carried away in bed, and, and he asked me if I'd been using protection. <laughs> Unfortunately, I wasn't. Maybe consider a morning after pill. <clears throat> Was it worth it, Julie? Yes. Yes, it was. It was a very emotional moment for both of us. How would you rate it out of ten? Ten. <laughs> ten. Did the earth move, Julie? Everything moved. <laughs> and I think no matter what you think of Julie, this is why she is one of the best housemates we have yes. ever had. Yeah, She's absolutely 100%. fantastic. Absolutely. Yeah. Uh, now, tonight, Big Brother finally um, showed that it had a heart when it allowed Julie to read her letter from home. It was quite a nice moment, wasn't it, I thought? Mm. Um, do you think, Rodrigo, it's helped calm the atmosphere between her and the rest of the housemates after the whole, oh, she yeah. won't give us a light for our cigarette moment? They were, watching the, they were watching her with her bitchy eyes and blah, 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 like looking at her even eyes and saying, oh, she's this, she's that, she's that. And then when they read the letter, oh, she's lovely, isn't she? Bunch of fake, I think they're all fake. You know, at least she's real, she says what she thinks. And she, yeah, she, don't you think you so? You think all of are fake? No, I think, I think other people, they are fake because they say, oh, I love you. And if one goes to the other room and the other stays, they say, oh, miss you already. No, they don't miss anyone, they don't love anyone. It's impossible to love anyone. Meet, like, loving people meet for two weeks inside an environment where everyone wants to win. They all want to win, they're all fake, you know, and at least she's real. Because a real person, we all... I think you're being very cynical. Yeah. I think you're being oh, very you're cynical. you're causing a kerfuffle, Rodrigo! No way. no way, Julie cannot be real. She's not saying she, she, she talks behind everyone's back. Yeah. I, no way can she be real. I like her, I think she's wicked, because I think she, she, she's what makes her Big Brother show. Oh, but, no, sorry, it's the mean, the real, when I say it's not being real, I say me, real is like, she, she shows she's what fake. she wants to say, yeah. yeah. No. Come on, give me some! Yeah. No, give me no, some. no, no, no! Hold on, hold on, hold on! So is she real or is she fake? No, 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 no. Her attitude's a very fake person, but she's real to show her fake. fakeness. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> on that, on that note, I'm suitably confused, so we're just going to move on. Time. <laughs> <laughs> uh, so tomorrow night sees another two housemates expelled from the big brother bungalow. But who's going to go? Nana, Papa or the prince from Italia? Um, here are all the details you need to save your fave. We'll catch you in a... No! no. <laughs> This week, Julie Martin and Prince Lorenzo all face the public vote. Who stays? You decide. From a landline, call 0901 61617 and add the number of the housemate. From a mobile, call 65058 and add the number of the housemate. For Julie, add 08. For Martin, add 09. For Prince Lorenzo, add 10. Calls cost no more than 36p from BT landlines or any mobile. Calls from other landlines may vary. Voting closes in Wednesday's show. Votes cast after the lines close won't count. For full terms, go to channel5.com forward slash bbvote.
Celebrity Big Brother's bit on the side. Uh, now, the boys might have formed their gang in the house, but I have got my own, and we are called BB Bots, and we have been hamming up all series. <laughs> Just because it's a final week in the house doesn't stop those celebrities giving me exclusive after exclusive after exclusive. And you know what I'm like, I don't want to keep them all to myself. So should we give them another one? Yeah. Yeah. There you go. I'm not one out last night, you know. Chat shit. Swear down. Chat to, bruv. Why are you chatting shit to me? It's on my daughter's life. Where? In, the, in that toilet. You know, like the second time I got up and everyone was sleeping. Yeah. Just knocked it out, bruv. <laughs> Fuck it, I can't be arsed, bruv. I've lasted, like, two and a half weeks horny, bruv. Oh, man, you make me horny. <laughs> <laughs> I make you horny. And girl should make you horny. Just went straight out. Bruv, how long was I? About two minutes. Yeah. No long thing. <laughs> I, how you do that, I don't know, man. Like, a couple pull... strokes, bruv. I need a pornography. It's, it's picture in your head, innit? No, I, no I've, got, I've done that before when I've been on trips and that. And the internet's run out. <laughs> Do you reckon I heard you? No, I was quiet. Yeah. I didn't make a sound, bruv. I just went... <laughs> <laughs> You're a star, man. <laughs> That's it, bruv. Swear down. Is it loads? Loads, bruv. <laughs> <laughs> I was like... Whoo! Trying to clean up everywhere. Fuck, I want to hit that wall, mate. Because <laughs> there's a technique, innit? I lifted up the toilet seats, innit? People got to sit on that, bruv. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And so I lifted up the toilet seats, and I just kind of, like, dipped it in when it was there. <laughs> in the toilet. Yeah, yeah. fuck it. TMI? <laughs> Too much information? No! Yes! Come on! <laughs> you dirty old buggers wanting to watch that all the time. Right, they're saying, get up with it in my ear. Uh, right, tomorrow's double eviction sees a battle of epic proportion, the likes of which haven't been seen since, well, last Friday's eviction. Uh, but who will be left standing tomorrow? Just Julie, ballet bassist Kemp, or the Bachelor Prince? Uh, to help me find out who's going to come out on top, I've decided to invite three people who know them better than most. So please welcome Julie's husband, Scott, Martin's son, Roman, and the Prince's former roommate, Danica. <laughs> How are you all? Good, 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 good. OK, Scott, let's, uh, let's start with you. So, um, I think it's pretty fair to say that Julie didn't take to people nominating her very well. Um, and she said that her nominators could rot in hell. So why do you think she took it so hard? Basically, she took them all to heart when she walked in. And she befriended every one of them. And they've just turned. And basically, they've caught, they've sort of like got a grand going there, the lads. And they've all turned. But someone has to be nominated of course, every time. Of course. And she kind of thinks that she shouldn't be nominated. Where if... If, say, say the boys heard her talking tonight, that we saw in the show, they heard her talking and saying things about people. If they hear things like that and they've heard a few things, then it's going to be a reason to nominate. Because, correct me if I'm wrong, Danica, it must be hard. If you get on with everyone, it's going to be hard to find a reason. So the simplest thing will help you do that. Yeah, it's really difficult and a ridiculous thing can, you know, almost change your mind or have to about somebody because you've all got to nominate. Yeah. So it's difficult. It's three weeks of intense scrutiny in there. It is. Mm. With no TV, mobiles, nothing. And there's nothing else to do. Do you think They're it was just the pure everybody. shock of it? It's the first time. It's, and we've it seen Colleen and shock. Julian say it's really difficult the it, first time it happens. It is. It's horrendous. And I just couldn't believe it myself that they'd all, you know, five of them out of the eight nominated Julie. It's... They've really Hard turned... Hard to watch. Yeah. OK. Um... Roman, your dad, um, your dad said that he had a game plan when he went he into the house. He did indeed, yeah. So, is this the game plan, or is he just being himself? Because I thought he was going to be this, yeah. you know, wheeler dealer concocting little schemes, and he just seems to have been the I nicest man in the world. I think a lot of people did, I know, but I mean, one of the biggest things that people forget is that when you go into the house, you so quickly forget that you're in a yeah. game. That is the game. So, yeah. it, to, to keep reminding yourself that you're in that situation the whole time is a task in itself. 
Yeah. Because you can't settle in too much, and you you've got to have that in your head the whole time. You know, I'm leaving in three weeks. You know, yeah. I'm leaving in three weeks. And it's, I don't know, it's, you know, not getting caught up in too much of the controversy or letting people get to you too bad. So, so do you think he got into the house and went, there's no point in having, you know, causing controversy for no reason because there's enough of that going on already? Uh, no, but I, I honestly, like, I don't think he would know how to cause controversy. I agree. <laughs> <laughs> he I'm does totally seem honest. like the nicest man <clears throat> on the planet, He just looks silly, he? so... We do love Martin. <laughs> <laughs> um, Danica, a lot of people think it's a foregone con conclusion that the prince will go tomorrow. Do you think it is? Um, I mean, you never know with Big Brother and the fans and, you know, and to live with him, he was a lovely housemate to live with and yeah. he was very loyal and he was a nice person. But, you know, Julie's a very, very, you know, uh, a big name and Martin is a, you know, everyone loves Martin. So, yeah. who knows? Um, Scott, the housemates have uh, accused Julie of playing a game. Do you think, and we've talked about this a little bit earlier on as well, some people think she's a game player, some people think she's just being herself. So, from your point of view, you know her and live with her. I live with her, yeah. Everybody's gone in there, they've all got a game. They're all playing a game. Big Brother is a game. So, what is Julie's game? She's not playing a game. So, she's not playing She's not playing a game. Every, but everyone else is? Julie's just being Julie. She's befriending everybody. She has done that. She's been nice with everybody that what she's talking about is edited down and what we're seeing is the bad side and they could do that with any one of them. Julie is a very nice person. But what I don't, what I don't think is fair is, is fair, you know, to, on, on Julie's side is I think that, you know, everyone is, you know, everyone goes, goes out on a night out, sees people they, you know, they don't really like or they, they don't yeah. necessarily get on straight away with. You go back to your home and you slag them off. That's why, you know, like people do that all the time. It's, you know, it's human nature. You're going to meet, meet people and yeah. you'll be so nice to their face and you'll go home and you'll say things that maybe you shouldn't have said. And, you know, I think it, there's times, there's, there must be points in, in the house where you just forget. Because it's a magnified know? situation exactly, of, yeah. of what you've yeah, just said. So and there's intense. no escaping it. You're yeah. there. And as we said earlier on, everybody's really doing it. Everyone's talking about yeah, everybody in some way, shape or form. But you've got to talk about something, you know. <laughs> <laughs> um, your dad has been um, quite quiet in the house. Yes, yeah. Um, I think we all thought he was, because yeah. of this whole, oh, I've got a game plan, we thought yeah. it was going to be explosive. Of course. Um, what is he like at home? Uh, uh, it's, it's so it's so difficult because I mean like when your dad's the nicest person it's kind of like hard to kind of like oh. no <laughs> I didn't say anything about my mum <laughs> <laughs> no 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 uh, so, so think, your you dad know, is the nicest person at home as well yeah like it's, it's it's difficult you know you can't really get in an argument with him because you'll feel bad for him like, <laughs> <it's> like, <laughs> yeah, <my mom. laughs> so he makes so, you yeah. feel guilty yeah he'll, like yes yeah, that's his card so i mean you know it's really good though it is good i'm gonna try that on my children especially especially <laughs> when it, when you know when all your characters that you play on tv and stuff like that are all villains and stuff like that so no one will ever hit on my mum but little do they know that like it's the nicest person <laughs> you know <laughs> okay um uh since you left uh danica i think the prince has been even quieter than he normally is, because he's pretty quiet, and he, or, or, or we're seeing a very quiet side of him. Yeah. Um, so since you've gone, he's kind of even more quieter, because that was his big thing in the house, was you. Do you think he's missing you? No, I don't think he is. I think, I think his main bromance in the house was actually with Roman's dad, Martin. He always yeah. had a little seat with him every day and had a little discussion, but... Um, I'm missing everybody. Yeah, they everybody. seem to get on quite they, well. They got on really well. They really saw eye to eye and they made quite good friends mm. in the house. Um, so I think if anything, it, you know, if, if either of them <coughs> to go, they'd miss each other. OK, thank you so much for coming on. It's a pleasure you. to meet you. I've met these two before. Thank you. Uh, give it up, friends and family. <laughs> 21 days ago, 13 celebrities entered the Big Brother house. For each of them, it was the beginning of a journey. A journey of self-discovery, a trip into the unknown. Some would even call it an... Um just the whole emotional roller coaster. Well, it's been an emotional roller coaster day. An emotional roller coaster. An emotional okay. roller coaster. It's an emotional roller coaster. What? Emotional roller coaster, yeah, that really. was. So, we sent Danica and Rian to ride the emotional roller coaster with Jamie. There's always a turbulent time in the Celebrity Big Brother house. Some might say it's a bit of an emotional roller coaster. Well, hilariously, we're at Drayton Manor Park and Zoo to go on a real life roller coaster. Who better to join me than Danica and Rian? I'm 
really regret that full English. Let's just get it over and done with. Ready. Set. Go. Oh. <laughs> oh, this isn't nice. This isn't nice. Oh, fucking Jesus. <laughs> Who's the biggest enemy that you've got in the house now? Sam and Jasmine. Oh, my oh. God. Oh. How does this compare to the big house? Whoa. See, I feel a bit like the prince, because you've left me hanging! Oh. Oh. Are you having fun? No, I'm fucking not. Oh. This is what you made Ashley feel like. This was his poor little heart being twisted and turned. Oh. That was horrible. Apparently the next one is a bit more relaxing. Oh, oh God. God. Is this going to hurt my bollocks? Your crunch is going to get crunched. <laughs> this is every man in the country revenge on you. Oh, fucking hell. a massive cock. <laughs> it's like the last week in the house. Mainly plain sailing, but a few wobbles. <laughs> <laughs> this is a bit more like it. Hold on. Oh, look at the little ducklings. So what's next for you, then? I'm not for as long as this stay off. What, the men or your tits? Tits. <laughs> They'll be careful, they'll smack you in the face, they will. What do you think the main storyline would have been? Your love triangle hadn't existed. Nothing. <laughs> Two ponchos, no poncho. I came here for an emotional roller coaster. We've certainly got that. You two, completely bone dry. Me, I've been completely rinsed, haven't I? <laughs> Get lost, go on. <laughs> She's taking my two quid. Unbelievable. Just like Julie, we are trying to grow old disgracefully, and I think we have well and truly accomplished it on this series, don't you? <laughs> Andrew? <laughs> What's that? Your lights, your uh, hat seems to be flashing. It's a new design, you see. I'm trying to see if it'll catch on. Is it going to catch on? No. Yeah! There you go. That means exclusive time, right? Yeah. OK, here you go. This is edible underwear. Oh. I'm going to have a nibble. Are you, Colleen? <gasps> If you do happen to get lucky, oh. how lovely to go. <laughs> and it's obviously I would need a whole shop of sweets to cover my Just breasts. There's nothing to worry about. <laughs> <laughs> There's no need to be gentle with it. You just slap it. Oh. On. Oh. <laughs> no need to be gentle. It's just. It also marvelous. does the decollage area. <laughs> From me, Julian, thank you for watching. Thank you. Goodbye. <laughs> Looks like a good one. Uh, so tomorrow night, the final eight will become the final six as two more celebs are sent packing from Big Brother's star-studded compound. But after 21 days, is there anything we don't know about them? Here are a few things they revealed to us before going in. The most extravagant thing I ever bought is... Mm. The most extravagant thing I've ever bought was jewellery for a girl I barely knew, and it was a pair of diamond earrings. Nothing really. A gold Rolls Royce. The most embarrassing moment of my career was 
when I was on TV selling pet products. I was doing a scene with Roy Barraclough. And I had to stand up and go away over the city, boy sitting next to me. And the noise went off under the covers. A pint of orange juice and a pint. And someone had to hold it there. And everybody just fell about, I thought, right. And a dog went to the bathroom. So I pressed my G-string. I gave up acting for about four years after that. That got him. The person I'm most mistaken for is... Martin Kemp, when I don't want to be Martin Kemp. My brother, who is older than me and a little heavier than me, so I'm not really sure how that happens. I really am just Julie. Is that your right, cop? The most famous person in my phone book is... Who is the most famous person in my phone book? But I actually haven't got a mobile phone. My wife. Because if I don't say that, she will kill me. Get it. Got it. Good. Oh, now it's going to pop. Got it. So that's what they had to say about themselves before going in, but none of that really matters now. So for the level of fairness, each nominee will now get two minutes of debate, or until we hear this sound. Get it. Got it. Good. Get it, got it, good. Okay, so first up is Julie. Start the clock now. Uh, guys, has Nana got a game plan? Yes. Yeah. 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 Oh. Definitely not. She's got a massive game plan, and she just, but she just bitches behind everybody else's back, whereas everybody else tends to do it in front. You said definitely not. No, she doesn't have a game plan. She's yeah, just yeah. her. She's just behaving as she would do in normal life. I don't think she is. I think she's just like that. Okay, uh, Nina, are we going to see her change if she survives tomorrow? Um, I think she's going to keep on as she is, but I think she's been so shaken by being nominated and shaken by the booze originally that she's really going to try and hang in there somehow. She, 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 she was genuinely gobsmacked, I think, by, that, that people didn't love her because she felt she'd been lovely to everybody. She didn't realise yeah. how she was carrying on, really. Um, Andrew, if she survives... To, you're still flashing. Um, if she survives <laughs> no, like tomorrow, you. can she win it? I think anyone in the final can win it. Absolutely. So if she does survive, she does have a chance because it means the public really like her. And she's so entertaining. She should have, she should have won it yesterday in my, my, my eyes. What do you think? Oh, God, no. no. <laughs> <laughs> I love Julie and I've got to say, I think it's no, great. No, no, I think no, 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 no. It would be absolute travesty of Julie won. A complete travesty of everything. Uh, Rodrigo, um, what do you think of her wardrobe? I thought it was really good. I like her clothes and leopard things, you know, very classy. Oh. Very classy. A little bit like that. <laughs> She's got that in her wardrobe already. Though. Huh? She's got that in her wardrobe already, though. She's pulled that out from the 70s, hasn't she? The, the tiger stuff. I think that's genuinely... Apparently her house is covered in yes, it. That yeah. is really her. Uh, so do you guys... Do you... Mike! <laughs> <laughs> she's never let go of being Bet Lynch, and she's, I see her as being a strong northern woman, and she's just fighting for, for where she wants to go. OK, is she safe? No. No, yes. no, no, no. I, don't, I don't personally think she's going anywhere. I think she's manipulated everybody on that house. Yeah, I so do. So you think she is safe? I think she is safe. I don't think that... I don't think... I don't, I don't think... I don't think that she'll go Get it, go got it, good. Get it, got it, good. <laughs> When, when the get it got it good goes, we have to move on. So uh, next up is Martin. Let's start the clock. Go. Uh, okay. So Andrew Martin said mm. that he had uh, a game plan. Is that a good idea or a bad idea for Big Brother? I think. Uh, well, I, I haven't seen a game plan from him. I think he must have forgotten what he said in his BT because he's gone in and he's, I haven't seen a game. Um, it's a game show. I never went in with a game, but I you think... didn't go in with a game. No, no, I was just myself. So that did me a lot of good, didn't it? <laughs> Yeah, maybe you should have had a game plan. Uh, Nina, has he done enough to make the public vote for him to stay? In a way, yes, because he actually has been uh, calm and reasonable and he's, he's obviously a nice guy. Wear, wearing the shades drives me mad the whole time. But I think when people saw how affected he was by thinking about his parents who passed away and he, yeah. and he cried, I think people saw a bit of emotion, a bit of humanity, and, and, and they may think, ah, there's, m there's more to him than that. But, he's, but he seems, he's a lovely man. He does he's a really, like really, really nice man. man. And a lovely son. How lovely was oh, his son? Oh, gorgeous. He's he's really, really nice. nice guy. All right, calm down. <laughs> <laughs> Rodrigo, Run if he... the hills, Roman. <laughs> <laughs> if, he, if Martin survives, can he win it? Yeah, of course he can. Like, he is a nice person, a genuine person. Uh, we were talking about me and Mindy Lahore, my friend. We were talking <laughs> about him in the, with him and his son. And 
He's a really nice person. He can win, of course. He has a huge fan base uh, on Twitter. Everybody said really good things about him. We do like nice people winning, yeah. don't we, yes. Big yeah. Brother? Yeah. So what do you guys think? Is we he safe Martin. tomorrow? Yes. yes. Love you love Martin at the back? Harvey all the way. We love him. He's just so normal and Harvey himself. Harvey all the way. We just hey, love we're not him. talking about Harvey, though. We're talking about Martin. Oh, Martin. Martin. He acts himself, but I'm not going to lie. I do love I situation. <laughs> I've watched He's it. very handsome, He's older man. The is better. Oh, we're talking about Martin. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. We're not talking to you. We're not talking about Martin. This is his two minutes. We can't have a shadow. Who wants to talk about Daddy, Martin? Got it. Oh, oh, look what you've done. Oh. Uh, OK, finally, it's the prince. Start that clock. Boom. Brilliant. Uh, so, the prince, Nina, has been fairly quiet. Does he have anything else to offer? No, I don't think he has, actually. I mean, he, he seems a genuinely decent soul. Yeah. He seems slightly bewildered by where he is and, and what he's doing. And the only time we saw kind of signs of emotion was when he, when he got really cross, actually. He started to get really cross. Uh, but that's all he showed us. I think his time with Danica, he was just so tongue-hanging out over Danica. <laughs> he, didn't, he didn't actually think about expressing his personality other than just that, you know, which was really pathetic. Nina, um, you keep doing that. <laughs> <laughs> it's almost like you had your tongue hanging out over him. No, 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 not at all. <laughs> absolutely, <laughs> absolutely, no, absolutely no way. But no, I, you know, it's, it's a shame because perhaps if he hadn't been so transfixed by her that we might have seen a bit more personality. OK, Rodrigo, he's no, been the, saved the once. Breeze, the breeze hold on, hold, you don't know the question. Oh, sorry. <laughs> <laughs> no, but I need even question because the prince is just very good looking. It's like elegant, his class is good looking. And he's a prince. Yeah. So he's just perfect. I think he's perfect. I don't think he does... Oh, yeah. does, 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 does I have the feeling... Does, yeah, exactly. I, I have said, the feeling, Rodrigo, that you really like him. I like the prince. He's, he's my favourite, you know. He's, he's been a, saved once, so yeah. he's clearly got a fan base. Can he be saved again? I, I don't know. I don't know why. I don't know. I, I don't know why. I don't know why people are booing him. What has he done wrong? You know. That was he's really nice, weird that, nice he was, yeah. that he was that he was um, being yeah. booed. Was I weird. didn't understand that at all. Mm. Um, if he stays, Andrew, can he win? No, he's gone. He's so gone. I mean, I like him. But yeah, but you said anybody in the final can win it. So he, he, won't, he won't stay. There's 100% oh, he's gone. Oh, you don't think he'll oh, stay tomorrow? He's Dolesville, and mm. he's, as, as Julian said, you know, dullness personified, which I think is one of the favourite lines of the show for me. What do you guys think? <laughs> is he safe tomorrow? I personally would rather watch paint dry than him. All he's done is flirt with Danica. Oh. The problem is he's competing against two big people in the house, and, and yeah. the problem is Get it, that's got it. it. Go. He's got Get it, got it. I think that's the, that, that's the problem with a lot of the quiet people. Because there are such big characters, we don't see as much as them. So very quickly, um, who do you want to go? Julie. 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 The problem is there's an imbalance. There's two older women and lots of young guys, and I think it's unnatural in the house. And this is what's causing all the, the bitchiness and the different tensions. Between you think because people. there's lots of young guys. Yeah. Um, and who do you guys think will go tomorrow, Andrew? Uh, definitely Lorenzo and possibly Julie. Yeah. I think no. Julie and the Prince will go. Rodrigo? Yeah, I think probably Julie and Lorenzo, unfortunately, yeah. OK, well, um, I have to wait until tomorrow to put my questions to either Julie Martin or the Prince. But you lot have beat me to it. Here's what they had to say earlier on today when they answered your questions. Hello, housemates. Hello, Hello. Big Brother. Who's got the worst fashion sense in the house? Oh, I would go with the situation. <laughs> <laughs> That's cool. Oh, Judy, what do you keep in your leopard print handbag? Well, like most nanas, you know, there's things in there. There's, uh, there's some gum, there's breath freshener, a bit of lip gloss, um, there's certainly no purse. No cell phone? Hmm? No cell phone? No. No. He's just trying to catch you out. I haven't got his cell phone <laughs> anywhere. I'm not even gone it's digital. Suspicion. <laughs> and Prince Lorenzo, who would win in an arm wrestle between you and the situation? I would win. And I'm telling you why. It's not I he's he could probably kick my butt in in a fight, but I'm a really good arm wrestler. Oh, yeah. <laughs> I am, it's a weird thing I had. It's, good God. Yeah. I'd win. Although I did get the least talented housemate right <laughs> now, now my is really gonna shine. let's mind. start with arm wrestling <laughs> he's, he's never gonna forget that i have to go and see a shrink over there. <laughs> who's had the best game plan in a way i think the one person who's played the game the best has been harvey because harvey's kind of gathered the boys around him 
and kind of yeah. it's got that group going. The bros. Like, right. the, the bros. The bros. Let yeah. you, I won't vote for you if you don't vote for me. That's yeah, the, yeah, yeah. So yeah. in a way, that's a, a, yeah. a game plan in itself, of even though he might say, I'm not a game plan. Oh. But that is a game. Judy, will we ever see Bette Lynch and Corey again? Maybe for spin-offs and things like that. Yeah. But uh, not permanently. No, we want her back. Oh, we bless want her you. back. Thank you, Martin. Yeah, getting into the final week is, for me, Amazing. is getting into the final, whether it's uh, Friday night or Wednesday night. It's still good fun. Or Tuesday, right? Tonight. <sighs> You're such a conspiracy theorist. Yeah. We don't know. The point is, <laughs> try, to and <laughs> try and think positive. Try and think positive. And finally, to all of you, who's been the biggest diva in the house? Who do you think that is? Diva. Oh, you. <laughs> yeah, so demanding. Bloody hell. Uh, uh, My God. One, just, one, 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 one. We'll take the fifth on that. There's, there's only one diva in the house, and she's beautiful. Yes. There you go. <laughs> well done, fellas. <laughs> oh, dear. <laughs> Celebrity Big Brother's bit on the side. Now, over the past 13 and a half weeks, my team of 101 have given you like 95 hours of pure TV gold, featuring 311 guests, including a bodger, a badger, and even a Roland rat. We've had coffee cup psychics, belly button fortune tellers, and even a lady who saw the future in asparagus. We've seen 30 housemates come and go and shown you over 500 exclusive clips while helping revive the careers of Hue and Cry, Tight Fit, Bonnie Tyler and Five Star. But most of all, we've just enjoyed the pleasure of you watching us every single night. Here's today's news. As you saw before the break, we asked the Prince, could he beat the situation in an arm wrestle? As he left the diary room, he was clearly looking for a fight. Mike, I have to arm wrestle you later. For real? Yeah. Why? Because I said I could beat you. For real? Uh-huh. Well, Th they asked me that question. Who would win an arm wrestling match? He's got guns the size of a three-story house. I know. I said he could kick my butt in a fight, but I think I can take him on arm wrestling. That's my talent. Really? No. Uh, no, but you might be an arm wrestling dude. I mean, I haven't arm wrestled in about 20 years. Yeah. <laughs> you know, it's not, come out and be like, hey, I want to arm wrestle you. Which means we've affected reality. We've affected reality. We've affected reality! <laughs> Julie was called into the BBTV news studio to deliver another crucial bulletin. Cigarettes were dominating discussions in the celebrity Big Brother house. Colleen and Harvey, in a conversation about Julie, said, I've wanted a fag all day and I ain't getting one off. Harvey replied, no chance. <laughs> <laughs> Colleen followed that with, I don't know how she can sit there and smoke all the time when she knows that I am desperate. I mean, I just couldn't do that. I just think I'm a nicer person. That's true. Your facial expressions are great. <laughs> she scares me. She's fucking coming to you. Shut up. Come on, bitch. Come and have a snout. <laughs> Come and have a snout with Nana. <laughs> And prove that you're a nicer person. Uh, Come uh, along, darling. Uh, oh God. Uh, <laughs> Come on, baby. <laughs> Is it all right? Yes. Did I never give you any? No. Come on. <laughs> oh, look at that titties. Come and have a snow with me. Because you know I love my Don't do it, really. Come on. Go make it up. I swear Moira Stewart never acted like that after reading the news. 
At 22.49, Big Brother surprised some of the housemates by revealing they had saved some of their letters from home. Dearest Ashley, I am so proud of you. So is your dad, and both of your brothers are too, and all your aunties. Uncles and cousins send biggest hugs and kisses. <laughs> Nanny's at a loss with no washing to do. <laughs> I miss you loads, but not the noise and chaos. Ha ha. <laughs> Thinking about you all the time. Love you, and proud of you always, our Olympian. Aww. Mum. Aww. Aww. After having his letter read out, Ashley ran to the loo. Hashtag emotional. Poor little thing. Perhaps he was expecting a check or some money in there. That's always disappointing when you never get any. Uh, and that is today's news. Come follow me into the sweaty box. Hi, sweaty box. Uh, so... With it being the final week and tomorrow's triple threat double eviction looming large, I thought I'd invite my favourite data daddy to cast his digital eye over the whole series so far. Uh, so put your hands together. It's hashtag Wilf Christian Howes. Hello. 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 Hello, Christian. Uh, right, so last time you were in, you had all sorts of tricks up your sleeve to show us who had been talked about and how they'd been talked about yes. on the World Wide Web. That's correct. So what have you got for us today? So um, here's I'm our... I'm liking this graphic, this, by yeah, the way. Very nice, resplendent they are there. Um, I'm taking them to a virtual Vegas this week. So because that's kind of what the, thing, the house is. Exactly. Yeah. And we did have Big Brother 13, but now we've got Big Brothers 8. And as you can see, they're... Oh, they're, I like the way you did yeah, that. Yeah, they're in the queue to see Five Star and Tight Fit at Vegas. I mean, that's a double yeah. bill I'd like to see. Uh, and basically what I've done is I've looked at the influ how influential they are outside of the house. So basically how social they were, so how many, how many likers they had, how many followers they had. This is purely online, Onla right? Yeah, this is online. So basically, as you can see, the situation... So Julie doesn't, doesn't do Twitter, Facebook, not, not, no, nothing. nothing. She hasn't even got a phone. Uh, okay. Up to the situation, and I'll just give you some numbers of the situation. You love stats, I, um, don't 1. you? 1.3 million followers on Twitter <sighs> and 4.3 million likers on Facebook. What? It's ridiculous. And wow. the, I mean, Julian's the next closest with 112,000. That's what I was quite, I was going to say I'm quite yeah. surprised at, yes. at Julian being second. Yes. Um, and that everyone else is making up numbers, really. But I mean, Julian's the closest. Only because I never expected Julian to be on Twitter or anything, no, but he no, clearly is. He's, he's got a few followers and 2,500 likers on Facebook. So, mm. ooh, massive. Mm. More than me. Um, um, so, <laughs> does this relate to how people are talking about them in the cyber world? Um, that's a good question. The answer is no, because if I move over, we can see that. Julie is the most talked about person since the ha since the start of the CBB with 27.8% of the sh of the voice basically. And okay, so purely because of Big Brother, this yes. is this is not. These are all mentions of, this of is Julie. This not how famous they all no, are. This is purely online. Chapter. In context around Celebrity Big Brother. So Julie is way ahead. Way way way. Martin ahead. way down there. Yeah, only 5.5%. I mean, he you know he's kept himself to himself in the house, and that's reflected in what people are saying about him online. Yeah, I like Martin though. Um, now, earlier we learned about the um, emotional roller coaster. Well, before we go on, oh. I just wanted to bring this up because just to put a bit of context around Julie. Yeah. Um, actually, if Julie uh, this week, Julie's had more mentions than David Cameron, Nick Clegg, and Ed Never. Miller. Never. This there is fact the stats there. She's had over eighty-two thousand mentions on social media. Is David, that a hashtag Wilf fact? It is a fact, and uh, David Cameron only seventy-five thousand, so oh. he needs to get tweeting. Okay, that, that's. That's incredible. That is incredible, it? really. Oh, poor Ed Miliband. Oh, no, you I, can't even get numbers on that. I can't that even bit. fit a number there. It's so small. Okay, let's talk about the emotional roller coaster. Yes, what let's have you got to reflect that? So basically, here is a stats a coaster or a data -coaster. coaster. So basically, here is or a. Or a Mosha coaster. It could be that as well. Uh, and uh, if we put the. These are the peaks. As we can see, there is Harvey sandwiched between two of Janice's peaks. <laughs> Janice? Jan oh, Janice. Who's Janice? Dickinson? That's, That's the Jasmine one, yeah. Leonard. I know, I'm joking. <laughs> uh, and um, as you can see, Situation was the most talked about at the beginning of the show yeah. uh, when they went in. And actually, as you can see, Julie is sort of gaining momentum as the show goes That's on. It's quite a drastic drop, isn't it, yes, as well? Yes, because everyone's excited about people going in the house and who's in there. And then, as you can see, it sort of platters out. But without the girls in the sort of the, the mid-section of the show, yeah. you know, it would have been quite flat. And you can see lots of people aren't actually showing at all. So people no. like Julian and Martin. Did you have more stuff for us? Because we're running out of time. Uh, I've only got one more thing. You've got one second. OK, we've had a... That's it. That's, it. <laughs> That's all we've got time for today. Thank you to all of my guests and Christian, of course. Uh, tomorrow is double eviction night. Yes, it is. Uh, I'll be grilling not one but two ejected celebs. Linda Lusardi, Lee McDonald and Kate Walsh are going to be giving me a hand. Have a lovely night. We'll see you tomorrow.